that time of the year again, the annual Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. There's a lot of preparation and work that goes into it. Lima says she gets on a regimen of protein shakes, vitamins, and a gallon of water a day. Victoria's Secret went and changed the controversial perfect body ad. What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For the next six weeks, I am going to be training and dieting just like the Victoria's Secret models, all in preparation for a bikini beach photo shoot. So I took some much needed rest over the past two months. And let me tell you, I have definitely lost a lot of fitness. So this is going to be a really tough challenge. I am going to be training with Steve Zim, who has done a ton of really cool YouTube videos in the past. I've actually worked with him before. In addition to that, I'm hella jazzed to be able to work with supermodel Elizabeth Elam, who has graced the cover of Playboy magazine. And I just want to be able to get a little bit of that courage. That's really what I'm looking for in this video, to get to a place that I'm excited about. I'm Steve Zim. I'm the owner of a Tighter You Fitness Studio in Culver City, California. I've trained a lot of celebrities, models. Everybody thinks that models are born the way they are. They're not. They have to work to look the way they are. Michelle and I did another video together. I just showed her how to work out like a model. This is going to be significantly different. We're going to be doing the nutrition, the cardio, and all the workouts. The workout is going to be challenging, but I think she's going to get it. Where this becomes tough is the nutrition. She has to stick to it. I'm Elizabeth Elam. I'm a professional model. Modeling swimsuit is a lot different than modeling clothes because it's a lot more about you and your body. I haven't seen Michelle model before, but I know she's comfortable in front of the camera, so I'm sure she's going to kill it. Even when I was growing up, I would run around in just a diaper until I was like five. Like sometimes women feel shame about those types of things. They don't feel the shame when it comes to posing naked. Those were always the types of photographs that I felt were really timeless. Like I looked at it as creating a piece of art that would be around forever. So now I have to learn how to do this. <laughs> ah! You got this. Okay. <laughs> Meeting with Elizabeth, she was just so calm and collected about everything on the table. She talked about posing in a bikini, posing even naked as something she likes to do because of how freeing it is. And that's a perspective I didn't really have before. She is a total of five foot, two inches tall. That's not the regular model height I usually deal with. It's usually at least 5'10 and above. How do we make her look like she's that tall? It has to do with elongating the muscles. By making the lines long, by giving her longer separation, her limbs will start to appear longer. So in a photograph, you won't know how tall she is. I I'm on my tippy toes constantly. I like to try and make my legs look as long as possible. Oh, <laughs> I feel like a little bit more confident too when I run. You do, it's almost like, like wearing faux heels. We are gonna be doing a bikini shoot, so it's very important that everything line up. We need everything to come in perfectly. Our eye loves symmetry. It's measurement time. Nobody likes this. So the very beginning of this challenge, I was excited but nervous. When we took the before photo, I felt pretty nervous to be in a bikini. I haven't worn one in a really long time. Your thigh is off by half an inch and your biceps are just under three quarters of an inch off. Number one thing to get you to look better is to get this to be symmetrical. One last thing, I put a level across your butt. And we're gonna see if one butt cheek's higher than the other. Right glute is a little bit bigger than the left. When we're done, I want that level to be dead even. Seeing the before photo, I realized there were things that I definitely wanted to improve. I noticed my posture wasn't super good, my skin wasn't that great, and I just didn't look confident at all. Feeling confident is the most important thing. That'll translate, that'll help you start kind of feeling yourself a little bit. Victoria's Secret models are this pinnacle of sexiness and beauty and elegance, and I didn't feel that way taking the before photo at all. It's one second in time. When my arms go down, my stomach doesn't look that defined. I mean, I have my insecurities just like everybody does. We start our journey today in six weeks. She's gonna show you the bathing suit again. 
My workout plan was very time consuming. Six days a week, I would do one hour of weights, one hour of running or cardio. And on the seventh day, it's not a rest day, it's still an hour of cardio. When you are trying to get super lean and look incredible for a picture, we can't have any extra fat, because guess what, the camera will see it. We need to shed body fat, and I mean big time. When Steve told me what the diet was, I laughed. No sugar, no sugar, and by the way, no sugar. We wanna get our carbs from vegetables and fruit, nothing else. It's very important to not eat any processed foods, to eat a lot of salads. You wanna pair a vegetable with a lean protein. It could be fish, chicken. This is about leaning somebody way out. Steve says we should only have three meals a day and no snacks in between. But he said that I would actually be less hungry this way. Once you do start to use fat for energy because you've run out of all those sugars, your body actually likes it better. Steve's training method is actually really cool. He uses really low weights and very high reps. All of the exercises that Steve does are really creative and unique. Some things that we focused on that I haven't really focused on in other videos are improving my posture and the shape of each muscle. We don't have a huge separation here, and that's what we need. We need a line to come here. Now go down, hold, head down. I'm gonna pull back. That gets this to go. Oh. Breathe out and come up. Perfect. For all of the ab exercises I did with Steve, there was a very specific breathing technique. Every abdominal exercise, the way I do it, it's a breath out, then we do the movement. If we go any faster than that, you're gonna be skipping your abs. Good posture, separation. We have all that, boom. You got something that somebody's looking at and going, wow, I wanna look like that. Good morning. I feel so dead. I have to go run for an hour now. <laughs> This is gonna be a pretty interesting six weeks. Balancing the working out with the restrictive diet and my full schedule immediately was very challenging. Good morning, party people. On this diet program, my breakfast is six egg whites, half cup of oatmeal, and berries. Perhaps one of the weirdest things I have to do on this diet is have a shot of apple cider vinegar with water at every meal. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> Steve says that it helps with digestion and is good for every meal to keep the fat burning. As much as I wanted this to be a unique and almost sterile experiment of what it's like to train like a Victoria's Secret model, it's impossible to do that. Those are so brutal. You've got to step back from yourself and go, okay, why am I doing this? Why am I on this journey? I chose this. No one's asking you to do this. You're doing this because you want to do it. Week two, I actually had a full-blown panic attack. It was really scary, and I think it was a lot of other things in my life compounding. I'm not a Victoria's Secret model, so I don't get the luxury of only preparing for this one photo. I am also planning and preparing this video and my entire channel and my whole other life and meetings and whatnot. I think. How many times I've looked at a magazine cover and seen it photoshopped and compared my body to that photo and thought of myself terribly without thinking about what's really going on in that model's life what she did to get that body, how much Photoshop was used to make her look that way, because that's not who I am. Do you do anything special to prepare for a shoot mentally? I always listen to music on my way to shoots. That helps me get out of my head. It's very obvious, especially in your face, when you're somewhere else. <laughs> so you basically just do things to make yourself feel more confident. Confident and just also like yourself because you are bringing yourself to the shoot and when people see the pictures it is a photo of you so you want to feel like yourself when you're taking them so it's a kind of 
correct version of yourself that you're presenting when the photo is taken. That's what it's all about. You want to feel attractive, feel good in your own skin. The camera loves you. When people meet you, they love you. They feed off that energy. We're at the mall. We're going to go buy a swimsuit. I haven't bought a swimsuit in like six years, Elizabeth. Six years? Yeah. What's also sad is I haven't like been to a mall in forever because I just buy everything on Amazon. Same. <laughs> With Elizabeth, I feel like we're friends. It's so cool to see a supermodel as a human. I kind of feel like I'm like in the 80s. I'm about to teach an aerobics class. It felt like a really cool bonding experience. We got swimsuits. We did it! <laughs> Full bag. In the first couple weeks, I was constantly craving sugar. I didn't sleep enough last night. That's bad. I used two supplements. Hollywood Sup's BCAAs. They're branch-chained amino acids. We take them right before the workout and right after. They help promote muscle growth. Also, it keeps you from getting sore during the workouts. The same company makes a melatonin. You take this five minutes before and you go right down. The more we sleep, the better our recuperation. So this is an example of what I have for dinner. I just got home from training. So I have some grilled chicken here. Just use a little bit of olive oil. This actually doesn't have any salt in it. It's just the seasonings. Giving up salt has been really tough on this, I've gotta say, but I think it's worth it. I also have been doing roasted vegetables. I love it because I usually broil them for like 15 minutes and then I change the oven down to 350 degrees for the rest of the time, like another 10 minutes. And then it gets the vegetables super crispy on the outside, but then super soft on the inside. It's a several day period, probably about three to five days of adjustment. But then once we start to tap into the fat for the energy, you start to get more energetic. Also around week three, I started noticing cuts in my arms. My abs started coming through as well. Look who I ran into at the gym today. Show them my Show abs. Show the abs through your shirt. Look, you can see the cuts in her abs through her shirt. I really respect Steve as a trainer. A lot of getting your ideal body, whether it's a Victoria's Secret body or not, is working with someone who you can trust to fully guide you the whole way. Guys, the truth is that I'm actually training to become a stripper for this video. That's what this is for, right, Steve? Uh, no. So I just woke up, found out some news. I last minute have to go out of town for something I really cannot miss, which means that I have to do the photo shoot a week early. Michelle gives me a call and I find out that we went from a six to eight week program down to a five week program. I was anticipating having like 14 days to cut down the last bit of everything. And now I have like five to get ready. I don't know if I'm ready for this. You think this is the first time this happens to me? They tell me that we have six weeks to get so-and-so ready for this movie part. I go, let me get them to where I know they're camera ready by three to four weeks. And then after that, we can get even better. I'm just nervous that it's here. The photo shoot is here. This final challenge week was completely different from any other final challenge week I've ever done. Not only was I on an extra restrictive diet trying to lose the water weight, but also I had to get a spray tan. It wasn't as much about becoming darker as it was covering up my stretch marks, covering up my scars. She sprayed James Charles, guys. You know it's legit. I had to go get my entire body fully waxed. I had to get a manicure, a pedicure. It was exhausting. Tonight is the first of many hot baths I'm gonna be taking this week to try and cut the last bit of water weight. It's just a trick that we do the last 48 hours prior to a shoot. This way the skin goes chick. Okay, I am going to put on the bikini. I haven't worn it since the first day of the before photo. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yes. I feel good. You look great. It looks completely different. Oh, yes. 
How good does that look? She's worked really hard. It feels like a completely different outfit. Thank you, so, Steve. Very good. Oh my God. Now we do measurements. Thigh was even. Left bicep, right bicep, even. Yes, even glutes. Even, even, even. That's intense. You have no idea. When the level is straight like that, that means everything else is gonna fall into place. You are down a total of 5.6% body fat. Why are you the same weight? You gained 5.6% worth of muscle to replace the fat. You did that in five weeks. I'm proud of that. I feel like I put in a lot of hard work and I'm excited to wear it now. We're at the photo shoot with Olivia. Olivia I'm the model. I'm pretty. the model. I'm the model. <laughs> Michelle did my makeup. She painted this pimple on my face. The day of the photo shoot, I was very nervous, but everyone there was so awesome and so supportive and we were having such a great time that it really, in many ways, felt like a dream come true. I'm making her look sensual, sweaty. I am hairless. I am smooth. I'm ready. Elizabeth really emphasized that your relationship with the photographer is super important. It really is such a collaboration when you work with the photographer. They're kind of letting you know what's working, what's not working. They'll tell you little things about like pieces of hair. Or I think I might have had like a different part of my hand up and he's like, no, move your fingers down this way. And they'll really kind of like tweak you to get the shot. So I decided to work with JD Rains, who is a photographer. I've worked with a ton in the past. I was really lucky to get to work with someone I'm really comfortable with someone who really understands my creative vision and what we're going for but it was also awesome on the day to get his perspective on different types of poses or styles that we should try high school me is very very excited and peaking right now because this is just like the closest i'll ever get to like feeling like i'm in a hollister ad it didn't matter at that point what my body looked like because i was just so thankful and blessed to even have this opportunity to get to have an experience like this that it was really cathartic. Like Elizabeth said, a photo is one moment in time. And that was so true on the photo shoot day. I am really proud of those single moments where I felt pretty and truly believed that I was confident. Welcome so back. Yeah. I'm excited to see I'm the photo. I'm so pumped. I can't wait. We just got them this morning. Okay. Show me, show me. Here we go. When I got to see the photos with Elizabeth, it was so amazing. It just felt like everything came full circle. Oh my God. Amazing. Insane. Amazing. Thank you. This one might be my fave. I was trying to do the, the pointed toes there. Which one's your favorite? Do you have a favorite? I actually like this one, I think. Hey. Yeah, I like that one. I like the Elizabeth The fake pull-up one. one. Yeah, your, I'm pulling up this one too because it fell down. Yeah. <laughs> For this one, I was remembering be on your tippy toes. But it was also really fun to like have props, like yeah. the scarves. I like this one. Yeah, I love that one. And yeah. it's just fun when you take pictures that actually show your personality. No, but these are incredible. For your first shoot ever, like, come on. This is insane. <laughs> I had a good coach. The majority of people dream about getting to do a photo shoot like this and never get to do it. And I just felt really blessed to be able to do it, no yeah. matter like what my body looked like or anything. And you'll have these pictures forever. Like, you'll look back at this moment forever, which is so fun. Yeah. And I feel like when you let go and actually start having fun with it, that's when you get the best stuff. Do I look like a Victoria's Secret model? Maybe some aspects of me do. But also at this point, I don't care because I am really happy with the way that these photos turned out. I had so much fun doing this video. And even though I might not look like the super tall, super skinny Victoria's Secret model, I felt like one on that beach that day because I knew how hard I had worked for that moment. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because I worked my ass off on it. Comment below with what you think the next extreme challenge should be. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pull it from one of the comments below. And as always, subscribe so we can keep on going on more adventures together. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.